Hey food lovers, my name is Adrian and I love food. Thank you for joining me again. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Based on my last video reviewing the best pizza on the Gold Coast, I had a number of friends and family members message me telling me that after they watched my video they just had to go out and grab a pizza. Now, I uh, did ask them, you know, were they, are they going to get the frozen pizza or are they going to get the takeaway? And the results were, were fairly mixed. So that gave me an idea, considering I had literally not one single person ask me which is the best pizza of the two. I thought I'd make a video on it, comparing the best frozen pizza uh, with takeaway pizza. So what I did, I went to the major supermarkets to see which one of them sells the most gourmet pizza. And in this case, that's Coles. Uh, they charge $10 uh, for this particular pizza. Uh, the Domino's was around $15 and uh, Pizza Hut was just under $15. But anyway, I bought um, a Meat Lovers from all three, as well as a Supreme because those are my go-to pizzas and as I said to try and keep it as fair as possible I got them all with the same base and um, I didn't really make any changes to the sauces or the you know the the contents of the pizzas so what I'll do is um, I'll bring them out here in a second and we'll see which one tastes the best and um, see if we can get that answered hey guys we're back with the pizzas uh, now, before we begin, I thought I would show you the, the boxes uh, of the pizzas that I bought, the Supreme and the, the Meat Lovers. Now, truth be told, uh, my favorite pizza is, is the homemade. That way I can choose my own base and my own ingredients and the, the quantity that I have those ingredients in and my sauces and everything else. I, I like making it from scratch. However, uh, when I don't make it from scratch, um, it's, yeah, it's always a toss-up between, you know, do you buy it? From the supermarket or do you you know have it as a takeaway um so the first pizzas here are the supermarket but the coals uh, frozen pizzas followed by the dominoes and lastly it's the um the pizza hut pizzas now the first thing that strikes me besides the fact that we slightly burnt the uh the meat lovers one there um is the size difference uh so the supermarket bought the the coals ones are the smallest and the Pizza Hut ones are the biggest. Uh, and look, I mean, truth be told, uh, considering the Domino's ones and the Pizza Hut ones are basically the same price, you definitely get more for your money with, uh, with, with Pizza Hut. So on that note, let's sample and see which one uh, is, is the best. So we'll start off with the, the Coles Supreme. The first thing I've noticed is there's not much in the way of cheese or sauce. Very little, very little cheese or sauce. But the flavor, flavor's not bad. Flavor is not bad at all. Now, onto the Domino's pizza. Mm, okay, so it's a lot softer than the coarse pizza. The base is a lot fluffier, a lot softer. This base, by comparison, is, is a lot harder. And it's got a little bit more sauce on it too. Okay, mm, it's good. Now lastly, the Pizza Hut pizza. Okay. So, the thing that immediately hits me is the herbs. Mmm. So this is by far the most herby of the three. It's got the most flavor. That, that, that hit of, of herbs and flavor really hits you as soon as you bite into it. Hmm. 
the base is good. I made sure I got the medium base. As I said in my previous video, I'm not a fan of those overly thick bases or those unusually thin and crispy. So these medium bases are, you know, what I love. Hmm. So look, it, it, it's for me, it's a it's a simple decision. Um, because I love my herbs, I love my my spices and my flavors and so on. So therefore, the Pizza Hut pizza is 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 by far the winner. Uh, if you guys aren't a fan of you know of the, of the herbs and the spices, then definitely the um, the Domino's pizza and the Coles one is last. Now moving on to the moving on to the meat lovers. Very hard base. Like the Supreme. Very hard. Flavor's good though. Not bad. Alright, let's move on to the Domino's. Mmm. That is good. Very saucy, very cheesy. Mmm. Good. Now, finally, the Pizza Hut one. Okay. So, the Meat Lovers, the Meat Lovers from Pizza Hut doesn't have those herbs and spices that the Supreme does. But it is a cheesier, saucier pizza than the, than the Domino's. And what I love the fact is that, that when they put the toppings, they, they put the toppings all the way to the edge, um, which, you know, Domino's doesn't. Hmm. Very close. Very, very close. Again, it's, it's between the Domino's and the Pizza Hut. Hmm. The base from the Domino's is lighter and fluffier. Look, it's very, 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 very close. No, oh, I don't want to give it a tie, but we got to find a winner. Hmm. I'm probably going to give this one to Domino's, just because the the base seems to be a bit more light and and soft. But it is very close. I mean, the meat lovers between them is very close. And again, the the, the frozen pizza from Coles is is last last place. I don't know where they source the the bases from because I know. Coles themselves, you know, they sell a, a variety of different types of bases. And this one just seems to be bland. It doesn't seem to have any flavor. Uh, when I go to Coles, I usually buy, or, or, you know, Woolworths. I like the, um, the, herb, the herb and garlic uh, bases that have got a lot of flavor just by themselves without any topping. But this one, the, the base just seems, um, yeah, very hard and, and very tasteless. I mean, it's good because I guess it's crunchy, but the only way I think <clears throat> to make these pizzas really good, the, the frozen ones, is by adding more sauce on them, definitely adding more cheese to them, and um, you know, herbs and spices for extra flavor. And I think if they were improved like that, uh, I think they would get very close to the takeaway pizzas, you know, but as they are, mm, last place for sure. Today being Tuesday, um, Pizza Hut had two for one special and I had some vouchers for Domino's. So the prices ended up actually being less 
per pizza than the pizzas from Coles. So if you factor that in, then you know it, it's a no-brainer to go for, for for these two and not even really worry about that. As I said, unless you're prepared to you know to improve it yourself at home. Um, but yeah, if, if if you were to pay full price for these compared to that, I mean you know it's five dollars more really, but the flavor is is definitely definitely much better. Um, yeah, compared to these compared to these pizzas. I hope I've answered a question that uh, literally no one's been asking. Thank you for uh, watching. I really appreciate it. See you guys next time. And remember, never trust a skinny food critic.